hello guys this is my first tutorial after taking a really long break from youtube and uh, today what we are going to do is we will try to build this note taking app on like uh, kotlin language and uh, basically i'll be using uh, lots of latest technology of android in this such as Kotlin coroutines, room database, MVVM architecture, navigation and two-way data binding and we will like the app is going to look like this where you have the home screen where all the notes are displayed and you can search through the notes and you can delete all the notes and at the same time there is a fragment where you can create the notes you can edit the notes so you know this is a very basic app but with a very good uh, fundamentals and uh, architecture uh, that will go with this app but uh, if you want to change the design because i have taken the design from somebody else's tutorial but feel free to use a new design because obviously if you follow the channel you know that i'm not a design guy i usually focus on the basic and the back and stuff so yeah well, what we will do is we there is a lot that can be done with this app uh, but once you have this like the, the basics then we can go forward from there then we can maybe implement rich text libraries and maybe color our text and make it like style our text okay so we will set up our project and i'll just name it the note app and I will try to uh, yeah we'll just wait for it to be built and uh, there is a lot of like assets of this uh, such as drawable resources and layouts that I'm going to use from my previous app so uh, as like I'll be copying all these so I will explain uh, also the stuff that I might copy and also uh, the assets and the dependencies of this project can be also found on my uh, github so it looks like that our app uh, has successfully uh, been built so what I'll do is really quick I'll just go to the app module and add some dependencies in here and uh, yeah so first of all we'll just get these and I'll just delete the, the other ones that were there before and I think if you are building this app then by this time you would know that why do we need this is for passing arguments through the activities and also while we are at it we'll just enable data binding I believe this tutorial is going to be both for beginners and uh, a little bit like intermediate developers because um, I will explain some things as we go so even if you don't know the navigation and data binding you would still understand good bunch of through this tutorial so this is the dependencies of navigation components and this is like room database lifecycle components Kotlin components and coroutines coroutines are basically allowing us to uh, generate the code uh, that can help us uh, do the work on the background because there are threads right then on main thread like main thread usually handles the UI like how the views are looking but at the same time we cannot just run our main logic on the main thread where then our app like would be doing so much work and it would be a lot of load on the processor so what we want to do is like we want to execute some of the main tasks on the background and we don't want to put so much load on our main thread so that is why we use coroutines what I'll do here is I'll just take these dependencies too and I'll just copy paste them 
okay and now at the same time what I'll do is while we are, we are at it I'm just going to go to this folder and like explorer yeah here we are and I'll just go to my previous project and take these four folders four or five folders and replace this into my new project because uh, I want to build uh, I don't want to like build the layout from scratch when I already have those but obviously because we have copied it from somewhere so there there are going to be some errors and uh, yeah so this is like the font that we are going to use and some of the things that I will show you here themes you can delete the night theme and obviously here like if you go to the strings then because this is from the old project so it is showing the name of the old app but the note app we can just name that and yeah we have to make these little bit bit of changes right when we are copying from some other project uh, so yeah and here we will see some errors obviously uh, we will see some errors here because these are just layouts and we have not like hooked them to our activities so if you have time you can go through these uh, such as note list item is that how our recycler view is going to appear uh, fragment home is like pretty much self-explanatory that uh, that our fragment uh, where we will display our all the recycler view items are is going to look like this and please note this tag that the reason I have enclosed this parent layout into the lay, layout uh, tags is because we want to enable data binding and that's how we do it maybe if I have a simpler layout here then I can show you so for example this is the layout this is our layout but the reason this is include enclosed in a further layout tag is that we want to enable data binding we don't want to like just uh, hook the views by find view by id and like storing them into a variable we will just find a new way and smarter way and like more robust way to uh, find our views that are present on this layout so this is like the create note uh, layout and obviously you might not be able to see the button but uh, we'll fix that and for example these like uh, the edit taxes you can see they are rounded so it is coming from this here the drawables that uh, the custom drawables that we like have taken from my other project so what I'll just do is I'll just go to themes and I'll just because this is also I've taken from another app again and again I'm mentioning so we have to you know update the theme of this app and now if I go in here I think after syncing the project everything would appear just fine see this has changed so now this is working well one more thing I'll do is uh, while we are at it is that I'll just create another activity name it as splash screen and obviously we will not create its layout so I'll just turn it off because we already have the layout I'm just going to name this splash screen and it, uh, I'm not sure what is the problem here the note and memory content uh, let me just fix this you you will not get this error because obviously I've taken this from another project so that is why you are seeing this error so yeah there is no error and we will what we will do is like we'll just you know uh, if you will build this project from scratch then you will not see such errors so what I have done is that I have created a splash screen and what I'll do is obviously because there was no layout that we had created so I'm going to hook this splash screen to this uh, activity and what I'll do is I'll just set support action bar 
is hide because we want to give that splash screen like whole of the screen so this will hide it okay let me just okay and set support so what i'll do is yeah i'll just fix this somehow set support action bar support action bar and hide so that's all what i'll do is i'll just uh, i'll just uh, create yeah a method so we can handler dot post delay alt enter so post delayed and just give me a second okay yeah, there, there we go and what i'll just do i'll just put 2000 like two seconds we want to create a delay and here what we'll do because this is decrypted and this will not work so i'll just add this and now this will work and what i'll do is i'll just add start intent start activity or intent this and where do we want it to go to main activity class that java and and i'll just import this and we will be done so i can just add a toast message to confirm that we are going to the we are going to the main activity I'm going to main and if we run our app now then we will be seeing our splash screen and likewise if you have any errors then you can always let me know in the comment um, or you can dm me on instagram my instagram has changed and after we have like written this code here in our splash screen to take our uh, like uh, splash screen and direct it to our main activity i'll just come in my manifest file and what i'll do is i'll just uh, put this intent filter because regardless of our intent if our intent filter is in the main activity then our app will only uh, run uh, only like uh, uh direct to main activity but we want what we want is that we want to go to the what we want we want to go to the splash activity first not the main activity so okay there's something wrong so let me check hmm, okay I'll just uh, what I'll just do is I'll just create here an activity tag and get this and now I'll just paste this here okay now I'll run my app and we'll see I'll end this tutorial if we can uh, see the display of our app on the emulator so our emulator is here and now we should see a toast message okay and the toast message is here going to main and this is main activity and yeah if you have any questions please post in the comments below but what i'll do is in the next tutorial we will go towards uh, i think more the logical side okay thank you very much see you